Okay, what is due diligence when you're buying the land? When I'm buying a house, I get it checked out, but when I'm buying land... You yeah, you can do as little or as, um, as much as you want to. I mean, you know, the, the big thing when buying land or buying a home with acreage, of course, we want to make sure that the... <clears throat> if it has an improvement on it, we want to make sure that the water is of good quality and we want to make sure the septic is running right. But if it doesn't have any improvements on it and you're just looking at the land, of course, the biggest thing is the survey. Um, and you might want to do a title search if you have some concerns. You could have some, some concerns about the access or the road maintenance agreement, but that's those are usually uh, things that are known up front. <clears throat> but then, you know, you might have you might have suspicions that there was some bad stuff that was happening on the property. And if that's the case, this is a very expensive inspection, but you can get what is known as a phase one environmental. And, you know, we've had situations where somebody was a timber guy and uh, there was a large area on his property that had um, coolant, antifreeze, and hydraulic oil. And so there was a spot on the property <clears throat> and that was discovered. Horsey people, we had a, a, an equestrian buyer one time do an inspection for um, Johnson grass, which that's a big issue. So it's kind of a pervasive thing. You're, you're likely not to find pasture without Johnson grass, but there are some particular horse people that are like, if it has Johnson grass, I'm not buying it. That's a grass that horses like, and um, <clears throat> they can get sick. They can get sick off of it. Uh, the other thing that you might want to do is um, you know, you're buying a cabin and 40 acres, well, maybe you want to subdivide it someday. And so that you have to find out whether or not uh, it's subdividable and what the soils are. So you might want to find an alternative perk site and you might want to do flood and stream and riparian buffers and figure out where you're allowed to build and where not to build. And, um, and then uh, we have one buyer uh, that goes up and down the Rocky River in Chatham County, and he does an ecological study. He does an inventory of all the animals that are on his property. So, you know, like I said, you can do as little or as much as you want, but certainly the standard and the big one is um, survey.